Good morning, children. Welcome back to your SPR online class. I am Jyoti M, handling English for class 4 standard. Before we begin our today's class, let us recall what we have done in our previous classes. What did we do, children? In our previous classes, we have completed the lesson, the Samurai Warrior and the Tea Master. After that, what did we do? We have seen a poem. We have recited the poem. See it through. Now, before we begin with the next lesson, let us check the previous knowledge children. Where do we live children? We live in a society. What is a society? Society means a large family. Among that, we live in different types of families. Where do we live? We all of us live in a family. Do you know what is family children? Do you know the definition of family? What is family? Family is defined as a specific group of people that may be made up of parents, children, aunts, uncles, cousins and grandparents. Yes, in a family, they lives parents, children, uncles, aunts, cousins and grandparents. Cousins, you know, children of our uncles and aunts are called as cousins. Yes. What is family? See, family means the group of people who share common ancestors. Okay, what is ancestors? What is ancestors? Ancestors means the origin of our family. Like, now we know. We are the children. We have parents. And we have seen our parents, children, our parents, parents we have seen. They are our grandparents. Even our father, uh, was, uh, he was having his grandparents. Means, the ancestors means the origin of the family. That is the head of the family. Now let us see some of the different kinds of families children. Today we see only two. One is nuclear family. What is this nuclear family? In a nuclear family, see. A family group that consists only of parents and their children. Nowadays in this city life you would have seen both the parents would be working and they don't get the time to see their parents. So what happens? Their parents will be staying at the village or in they will be staying in their own houses. Now one more we will see what is joint family. Joint means you know together. See, what is joint family? A joint family consists of minimum three generations. A joint family consists of three generations like grandparents, parents and their children. Grandparents. Grandparents will be having children. He may be having a boy and a girl. Even their children will be living. Means totally three generations people will be living in this joint family. What happens see? A joint family consists of minimum of three generations, that is grandparents, parents and children. Members of a joint family hold a property. See, members of a joint family hold a common property. In nuclear family, father and mother, they will be the owner of the property. But in joint family, the head of the family member will be having the uh, rights on the property that is common, uh, common he will be having the rights on the property generally the head of the family manages the property the head who will be grandfather or his great our grand, great grandfather would be there he will be holding the property with him on behalf of all its members see the head of the family divides the property among its different members. He divides the uh, property among all the members of the family. But all powers will be with him till he survives. Till he is alive, all the property would be on his name itself. But when he will be alive, what he will do? He will write a will. Be. But he would have made a will. He would have made a 
will. What is this will, children? He would have made a will before only when he decides which property uh, belongs to his family members. Like property means there may be sites that is empty plot or the constructed houses or the farm, farm which are uh, can see in the village where the farmer grows for uh, grows the food for us. Even gold and silver ornaments. He may, all these are the properties. He will be deciding. That is, the head of the family will decide which property goes to which family member. Before me, when he survives that time, what he will do? He will make a will. What is that will you know, children? A legal document. Legal means a written document containing instructions as to what should be done with one's money and property after one's death. The head of the family, what he will do? He will prepare a will when he will be alive. In that will, he will be giving like properties I told. Like it may be sites, it may be the houses, it may be the farm, it may be silver or gold ornaments. All those total, how much property will be there, he will mention. And he will see how many children he is having. Among that, he will decide like which property should go to which child. He may be having two or three or four children he may be having. Among them, he will equally divide them. Means, today what we are going to see? Today we are going to see one such family. See, in today's class, why this will I have circled, you know? Why I have circled? Today we are going to see the lesson, the will. That in today's class, let us see one such family where the head of the family writes a will before his death and informs his family members. In our today's class, let us see the lesson, the will. The seventh lesson, children. Lesson number seven. The will. In this lesson, we will see one such family where parents, like father, mother, and they will be having three children with him. When he uh, when he comes to know that he has grown old and weak. He made a will and he ha handed over to his, his wife. And what will happen after his death? Let us see now. Now before we do that, you open page number 59. Before we go to the lesson. Before we go to the lesson reading. Now let us see the warm-up activity. What is there in warm-up activity children? In warm-up activity, they have given some pictures, match the descriptions of a few animals found in Indian deserts with their names and pictures. Some of the pictures he has given. In this book, you can see a very small pictures are there. I'll show you. I have enlarged the pictures and brought for you. This is the Bactrian camel. See, it has having two humps. Normally, we have seen the camel with a single hump. But here, this is a bacterial camel. It is having two humps. Then we will see the cattle. What is this? It is a cattle. Cattle is a cat. It is. it is a desert cat. Next is the great Indian bustard. It is a large bird. Then last we are going to see the black buck. We will see what is this black buck. Now let me paste them and show you. Thank you. 
picture you have to match these pictures with the description description means like they are describing what type of animal and where do they live four descriptions are given and these four animals are given we have to just match them the first one is the bactrian camel the second one is cattle it is a desert cat you can see it is very large uh, looking like animal it is looking in normally in our houses we see the cat it is very small and very mild but this, this cat is very wild this is the the great indian bustard it's a it's a bird it's a heavy bird There are four animals: Bactrian camel, Calcul, Great Indian buzzard, and the black buck. For them, they have given A, that is Bactrian camel. This is number A. Bactrian. camel this is cattle c great indian buster this is b it is black buck now the descriptions what he has given see bactrian camel for number 1 here bactrian camel is there here again he has given number 1 i won't write the descriptions i'll just read for you and show you how to match you have to match the book with the help of your scale and pencil don't use pen in the textbook in your textbook you have to match the animals with its description with the help of a scale and pencil even in your workbook also we told you to write with the pencil itself now first one back to camel you know that description is given this critically endangered bird is among the heaviest flying birds found in the deserts of western india before we do this activity matching activity what is the heading match the descriptions of a few animals found in indian desert what is desert you know children what is desert desert means a large of land usually covered with sand that is hot and has very little water and very few plants in this desert it is very hot and what is there and there will be very little water and there will be only few plants and what are all these Bur uh, some are animals birds these birds and animals they live in desert region now below bactrian camel what is the description given the description given below is this critically endangered bird is among the heaviest flying bird found in the deserts of western india see this is an animal bactrian camel cattle is also an animal it is a desert cattle bird this is great indian buzzard it is a large bird i told huge bird this is a black buck black buck means a mammal like a deer with horns and long thin legs that allow it to run very fast now this description see this first description goes to number c so what you have to do you have to take the scale and pencil in your book now here i'll just draw with the 
Here, chalk here. See, this number 3 will come to number 1. You have to just match it. Don't do with the hand. Immediately do with scale and pencil. Now, second. What is the second description given here? This desert antelope is protected by lock. What is antelope? This antelope means a mammal like deer only. You can see this, this picture if you see you think this is a deer but it is a black fur. And see this desert antelope is protected by the law. Law means uh, the government because see this deer, a mammal like a deer with horn and long thin legs that, it, uh, that allow it to run very fast. Now, this is second one is D. <coughs> what you have to do, you have to just draw the line like this and bring it down and go and match it with the two number here. In the description, two. <coughs> now, what is the third description? This small desert cat is found across the Thar region of Rajasthan. So, here we have to match C with the 3. Here you can draw like this. Then comes this double humped beast. I told you before, normally we see camel with one single hump. But here, this is two humps. It is a very large animal. Humped beast. What is beast, children? An animal, especially very large one, is called as a beast. This how a large hump, double humped beast is found only in the arid region. What is arid? Arid region means arid means very dry with little or no rain at all. This double humped camel is found in the arid regions of Kashmir's Nubra Valley. Now what you have to do? This number one you have to match with the D picture here, 4 description. In your book, do neatly. There are 4 pictures and 4 description. Number 1, see, Bactrian camel will go for number 4. Alright, A will go for 4. Number A picture, you have to draw the line for 4. Now, number D. D, this is character cat. It will go to Three. Then C and D will be. C will go to number one. And D picture will go to number two. You see that. Number A picture is joined to number four description. B for number three. C for one. And D for two. Now we have completed the warm up. Activities. Now let us go to the lesson. Open page number 60.
capital we are today see now there is a lesson now let us see how can you divide 17 camel into two equal half there are 17 camel it, it should be divided into half how it can be done children let us read the story see read this arabian folk tale to find out whether it is possible if it is directly now out of 17 means how we will divide see children 8 ones are 8 8 twos are 16 it will become if 16 is there we can give 8 as equal 2 equal 8 8 will get it will become 16 but it is 17 means can we give 8 and half for each one of them can we give 8 and half is it possible they are asking so now let us see read the story and we'll come to know how this problem is solved 17 camel should be divided into half see children uh, read this arabian folk tale they are telling folk tale what is folk tale children folk tale means very old folk tale this is page number Page number sixty. You have to open and see. See, folk tale means a very old traditional story that has been passed down from one generation to another generation in a spoken form. While doing the project uh, one on Deepavali, I have told you what is culture and what is the tradition that is passed on from one generation to the another another generation. Like grandparents told to your parents. Now parents will give the information to us. That is the children. Folk tale means it is uh, uh, like a traditional story passed from one generation to another. Uh, do folk tales teach us a lesson, children? When we read a folk tale, do we get a lesson from that? Do we learn anything moral from that? Yes. Most folk tales teach us a lesson. Like because they are a product of the people. People what they practiced, they told the stories to their young generation. Again, when they grow old, they will tell to their younger generation. That is, it is it has been passed from one generation to the another generation. They typically involve a moral story or lesson that reflects the values of that culture. Now let us see the story, children. Page number sixty. You all open. You can see a man riding on the camel. Our sis double hump camel. This is this is from the desert. Now here is one such story regarding the camel. Let us see. Many years ago, in a small town in Egypt. There lived a man named Abdullah bin Star. There was a man named Abdullah bin Star. He was the head of the family. Members in this story, the members which come in here story, no, I write here. See, Abdullah bin Abdullah worked with camels. He was the head of the family. What he was doing? What was his work? He was working with the camels. He had the most pedigreed camels of the finest quality, with fur as white as that of a rabbit. What is now meaning here? What is the pedigree, children? What is pedigree? Pedigree. You can see the meaning here. Animals with recorded ancestry. I'm writing short. It is given generally. Recorded ancestry. What is this pedigree? Pedigree meaning here in this lesson. Pedigree meaning is animals with recorded ancestry. I told you ancestry means the origin of the. Family that is the head of the family. They come from parents of the same breed or uh, or a variety. 
What is fur, children? Fur means the soft, thick hair that covers the bodies of some animal. How were Abdullah bin Saad's camels? They were having the fur as like a they were the fur was uh, white like the camels' hair. Abdullah loved his camels like his own children. Now, once a year he found. He would sell some of them at a cattle fair. What is this cattle fair? Fair in what? We can see our Shannara Sveshwara fair in the, March of, in the month of March. Yes? Fair is uh, at which cattle are sold. A cattle, the cattle are sold. What he would do once in a year? He would take his, some of his camels and he would, he would go to the cattle fair. Then he would, he would sell the cattle. And what he would get in return? He would get the nice good amount he would get. Then he would rear the new and the remaining camels and increase his herd. What, what he will do? Once he will sell some of his camels, this camel, young uh, camels will be there, no? This, the older camels he, he would be selling in the cattle fair. The young camels, that is the children will be there. No, what he would do? He would rear them. What is rear? To take care for an animal's young ones until they are fully grown. In first two parents, what did you see? Abdullah bin Saad, he lives in an Egypt. He would uh, rear the camels. And once in a year, he would take the camels and he would sell them so that he would get nice good amount of money to take care of his family members. Then what he would do, he would take care of the young camels until they are fully grown. Next, Abdullah had a very good, honest wife and three sons who lived happily with him in his hut. The camel enclosure. What is this enclosure? S U R enclosure. What is this enclosure, children? An area that is closed off with a fence. It will be covered with this enclosure means it will be covered with a fence. What is fence, children? A wall made of wood. That is a wooden wall. Everywhere he would have made the wooden wall. Was right outside the hut. It was a sight. Means very good to look at. To see his handsome camel chewing their cud. Under the leafy date trees in the enclosure. What is cud, children? C-U-D cud. Cud means partly digested food. Returned off with a return from the stomach of camel. Once you know desert, in desert they won't get more water or they won't get more food. Whatever, once they get, they will eat off. And after some time, what the camels will do? They will bring back the food to their mouth once again. They, uh, from the stomach of camel, as well as cattle, sheep, antelope, deer and giraffes do. To the mouth for further chewing. Once they get the food, they will grab it. Everything goes into the stomach. But it would have not digested fully. So what they will do, these camels, once they are taking rest, they will bring back the food to the mouth for further chewing. Yes. As time passed, Abdullah and his wife grew weak and old. I told you, this Abdullah uh, was growing very weak and old. Then what happened? One night, over dinner, means at the time of dinner, Abdullah bin Saad said to his three sons, Abdullah was having a wife and three sons, my boys, I am getting old now and my body is getting weaker every day. I am sick so often. I feel my end is near. When I am born, look after your mother and please don't fight amongst yourselves. What is the father advising his children? 
I'm getting day by day weaker and very older. Once I'm gone, you all don't quarrel with each other. I don't have much, but I have written a will. What is the father telling? I don't have much of the property. Whatever I'm having, I make it a will. Will means a legal document. Written document where the head of the family decides which property should be given to the which family member. Which you can find in a pot in the granary. What is granary? Granary means a building used for storing grain. Like a storeroom you can say. Nowadays in modern days we have a storeroom. Where what all the things we purchase we come and keep in that storeroom. Whenever we need it we take from there. In the same way with Abdullah bin Tar, what he did? He kept that will in the granary. Granary means where the grains are, where, the, where there is a place for storing the grains. Then after that, one morning soon after, Abdullah was found lifeless in his bed by his wife and son. As I told you before, in, before paragraph, Abdullah was very weak, he has grown very weak and old. So he has written a will and he told his uh, son, all the three sons he called and told, I may be going any time, I am very old. So you all three should be not fighting after my death. You should be very friendly with each other and you should obey with your uh, obey your mother and take suggestions from her. One, one morning what happened when Abdullah's wife, Abdullah bin Saad's wife and their three sons, they see uh, this Abdullah was lifeless in his bed. Lifeless means he was no more. Three days after Abdullah's death, when they do all the rituals after the death, uh, they will do some of the rituals. In every family, in every culture, there are some rituals. So, after three days of Abdullah's death, what happened? His family thought of his will. As earlier, Abdullah bin Saad told, I have written a will. So, now they want to discuss on the will here. His sons searched every pot in the granary. As father told, he would be keeping that will in the granary. They went and searched in the granary and finally found a paper wrapped in camel skin. On opening the seal, they found that it was not a will but a directive which was addressed to them. Addressed to them means here uh, Abdullah bin Saad's wife and his uh, three children. What is directive? An official instruction. Directive. An official An official instruction. An official An official instructions given to his wife. Abdullah has written uh, some directive that is some of the instructions for his wife and his children. My children, I ask that the three of you look after your mother. Tell her about your decisions. If you travel anywhere, inform her before leaving. What is the father he has written in that uh, will? He has written that for all his sons, whatever decisions you take, you share with your mother. If you travel anywhere, first you inform your mother. That too before leaving. After going to the place where you have reached, you should not call back and tell that I am so and so here in this place. Before leaving, you have to inform your mother. Ahmad, you are the eldest. See here, his wife's name. Let me erase this thing. This son's name I'll be writing here. First son was Ahmad. Second was Muhammad. 
before if we leave, uh, if you want to go somewhere he has to inform their mother he should be present as he will be the eldest of the family member the, when the father is not there the elder brother will be the head of the family what he should do he should be present in any of the functions of the house like marriage death ceremony or any event that happens in the family and more more but second one what he should do he should respect his elder brother and take care of his younger brother and what uncle and should do he should obey his both elder brother and he should respect his mother and he should fulfill his mother's duty when mukharan can't fulfill he should suggest his brothers to take care of his mother see she told them to check if the second page was stuck what is she her uh, only will but a piece of advice for them abdullah bin char has written only the uh, a piece of advice for all the children then rukaiya this is abdullah bin char's wife her name is rukaiya see then rukaiya abdullah's wife said that she remembered that her husband had written on two sheets of paper that night but they had read only one what happened rukaiya she has seen that her husband uh, her husband has written on two pages in one page we saw that only the advice was given to his three children she told just see last night i have seen your father has written on two pieces of paper she told she told them to check if the second page was stuck stuck means fast and the stick like while opening the page what we do no page number 61 i am if the pages are stuck directly i will not go to 62 i'll be going to 64 because the pages are stuck here the 62 and 63 are stuck stuck means they are sticked together mother told i have seen Uh, my husband that he has written two on two pages see whether there is one more page what happens then when ahmed rubbed the corner of the page like this corner will be there no if you rub like this if another page is there it will be coming upper side see when mohammed ahmed rubbed the corner of the paper he found that there really was another paper stuck to the first one what happened one more paper was stuck to the first paper in first paper only advice was given no there was one more paper stuck to the first page the sun's faces lit up lit up means excited they were very excited to see one more paper these children no they were very much excited to see they are thinking in their mind now in that paper at least father has written the property which belongs to which family member the sun's faces lit up ahmed said thank god abba has written his will on this one this one means the second page which was stuck to the first page ahmed said sir ahmed said thank god abba has written this will on this one mohammed and mukaram said read it quickly quickly they are very much excited to so, uh, to see which property will come to them ahmed began to read now what we will do children we have done half of the lesson now where abdullah bin char is the head of the family he has written a will now we came to know that there is only one page in that page only advice was given to all his three children like what the elder should do younger one should do and what the younger one should do but there is one more page now they got the one more page so in that page the children are thinking like the property property means abdullah was having the camels he was having the rearing uh, he was having the business of rearing the camels now what we will 
so we will continue with this lesson in tomorrow's class you just read page number 60 and 61 we have completed page number 60 and 61 in this story there are five main characters that is abdul abin sar is he is the husband his wife is rukaya these parents abdul abin sar and rukaya they are having three children ahmad mohammad and mukarram ahmad is the eldest one mukarram is the middle one and sorry mohammad is the middle one mukarram is the younger one you read these two pages and we'll continue with the story in tomorrow's class children thank you have a nice day